around your neck. I keep the long end in my right hand because I'm right-handed, and the short end in my left hand. And the first step... Learning how to tie a tie. He says, because... Wait. A tie around your neck. I keep the long end in my right hand because I'm right-handed, and the short end in my left hand. And the first step is to cross them over. Cross them over like that. And it's every tie is different, but you want about a half a foot on the short end. And you can adjust depending on the size of your neck and, and everything else. One rule of thumb is that you'll see on, on most ties that they've been they have a little line where the manufacturer sewed it. And so you just line it up right there with that line and you switch hands. Remember I had it, I had the long end in my right hand. Well I cross it over and I switch hands like so. I don't think this manufacturer did that. Actually they didn't do that. So well Let's just see what he does. And then I take this end, the long end, and I stick it up and behind through this little hole that I have. So behind and up through the little hole, and then pull it all the way through that little hole, and then down. Now I don't switch hands, so I keep it on the same side. Remember before this tie was just the tie was just coming down straight, but I went up through and then and now I'm at this point. This time we put it around back. We don't go through like we did last time. We put it around back and then switch hands right here and put it up through the front of that hole that we just put it through. Got that? No, I don't. And if you've done it correctly, what you'll have is the inside of your knot. And at this point, you can kind of shape it to the shape you want. It's kind of a triangle right there. Shape it to the shape you want. And and uh, if you've done it correctly, that's about what it should look like right there. Now, the last step is basically putting a cover on this inside of your knot. So you push this around. Now you can push it around all the way, so you kind of wrap that inside knot, and then push this up through the, the hole between your neck and the tie one more time. Now once we pull this through, we're going to stick it down this little tunnel that we've created. See, when we go around back, we've essentially created a little tunnel that the tie can be pushed through. So you push it up, pull it through, and then you open up this little tunnel that you created and pull the tie down through. Didn't help me out at all. I gotta watch a new video. But I need to have tie tie because I have all these nice ties and no way to tie them. It's part of being a man. And a man, so this is a beautiful tie. This is a very modern masterpiece tie. Let's skip this ad. So I'm not watching 56 more seconds of people. This video is brought to you by MyNiceTie.com. Because with a coat and tie, anyone becomes civilized. At MyNiceTie, different is great. 
All right, let's continue this trip. So basically, the first step is to just take your necktie, like regular. You kind of estimate how long you want it. So just put your thumb in it like that. You just hang your necktie down. I like it just a little bit above my belt buckle. And you've got your necktie done like this. I want you to just lay it with the long end going away from the hand and it's holding the necktie rope. Then you take this end of the necktie with your opposite hand, the one that wasn't holding the tie. Why do you have to switch hands though? I do not understand. Why do I have to switch hands? That sounds confusing. You can slip it under and create a loop. Like so. Pretty simple. How many of you have done a look at this? Then, take the other end and create a loop the opposite way. You're going to have two loops. Then, under and create a loop. Then you take this end of the necktie with your opposite hand, the one that wasn't holding the tie, you flip it under and create a loop. Like so. Pretty simple. How many of you have done a look at this? Then take the other end and create a loop the opposite way. We're going to have two loops. Both going the I'm just not following though. I'm like really not following. And I have an engineering background. Like maybe it's a mathematical thing. Maybe tying a tie is an artsy thing and it's not very logical, but I'm trying to make like it just didn't make any sense. Um I he lost me after make a second loop and then with the hand do around thing. My best friend's getting married in June, and I'm gonna want to tie my own tie for that. So, I got a lot more practice to do, apparently. <laughs> 